a thrift find. This is look. This looks like one of those rugged, heavy-duty outdoor radios, but obviously the looks can be deceiving. <laughs> anyway, it's a Sharp GF330, and this video ain't gonna be too long because I've already tried it out. The tape deck needs work, and it's dirty as hell. Because I can push play in the capstan and pinch roller spin, but not the take up. So that leads me to believe that there might be, this is one of those ones that uses an idler tire. And that might be shot and I don't know how to get a replacement for one of those easily. So, um, let's see. Oh, so this is the major surprise I saw in this thing. You ready for this? Nasty ass bull. Yummy. That's going to take some cleaning. I don't know why people leave batteries in things like this. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard to take them out when you're not using the unit over a month's time. Anyway, quick demonstration of the FM radio, because AM doesn't come in a lot around this area, so... And yes, this thing does get loud. If you have a brain. It does sound really good too. I to, when I open it later, I want to see what the um, um, watts and ohms are on these speakers. So it's a pretty, it's a great sounding um, boombox, that's for sure. Now it says four way speaker, so I'm assuming it has real tweeters. So 13, yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, you got an external mic there, I didn't even realize that. All right, cool, so yeah. That's it for now. I have to do some maintenance on this boombox. <laughs> Later.